all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Eminem Sports, Mariah Mohammed Promotions, Jordan Brand Nike, Thank you. Madison Square all Garden, right. Thank Square you, Ring Incorporated, Thank Valley's you. Park Place, Atlantic You're City, welcome. Grand Casino, Mississippi, like and matchmaker Kareem Ali presents a very special attraction about 12 rounds of boxing for the NABO Middleweight Championship. NABO supervisor at ringside, the former light heavyweight champion of the world and Hall of Famer, Mr. Jose Torres. The three judges scoring this bout on the 10 point must system are Mr. Bob Gilson, Ms. Julie Letterman, and Mr. Larry Hazard Jr. And when the bell rings, the man controlling the mayhem in the middle is referee Jim Santa. Introducing the principals first, fighting out the blue corner. He's wearing the canary yellow trunks with black lettering. He weighed in at 159 pounds. His excellent professional record, 22 big victories against two defeats, eight KOs to his credit. And he hails from the show me state, Missouri. And he says he's here to do just that tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, he's Kansas City's bad boy of boxing. Please welcome Maurice Brantley. And his opponent fighting out the red corner. He's wearing the red, white, and blue. He also weighed in at 159 pounds. His world-class professional record, 26 big victories against only four defeats, 18 crayos to his credit. Originally from Mayaguas, Puerto Rico, now fighting out of Passaic, New Jersey. Here is the current NABO middleweight champion, Brian the Bull Barbosa. 12 rounds, middleweights. Turn here. Let's go, General. Come here, General. Come on, race. Okay, Brian. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a good, clean fight, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. A lot of famous people have been on this stage. Let's, let's do it right. Okay, let's touch, touch gloves and do it. Uh, impressing Brantley and Barbosa with the previous appearances here of such as Sinatra, Garland, et al. Um, okay, so it's uh, Barbosa in the red and blue trunks and Brantley in the yellow as this middleweight bout begins. It's an important fight. For Barbosa. Woof. He makes an opening statement. <laughs> I was about to say it would be a good Stick idea to, to look right, spectacular because a good victory here would earn him a shot perhaps at Bernard Hopkins, no fight, no fight, the middleweight champion. Well, and I say let's give the shot. <laughs> what a start by Barbosa who flipped Brantley onto the back onto his back with his first punch. And there's a knockout or a knockdown for Brantley. It was a slip. It was a slip. He's gonna call it a slip. He almost knocked himself out that time. Barbosa swinging himself onto the canvas. Takes a right from Brantley and lands a solid left. Brantley's got to understand, up, understand up, if you're going to stay in this fight, you can't up, match punch for punch. Well, Brantley's record indicates, George, that he's a boxer. He's only got eight knockouts and 24, uh, eight knockouts and 24 fights, so he better start boxing. Keep him up, keep him up. Come on, boys. That's an old boxing trick. Get out there and catch the guy when he's cold and put your best shot on him. Keep him running all night that way. Now Brantley getting his feet on the ground and showing a lot of movement as Barbosa kind of settles into the center of the ring and tries to find Brantley with another big shot. Barbosa shaking his head after he misses wildly with a chopping right over the top. And Jim Santo warns Barbosa to keep him up after a left traveled well below the belt line. Both guys keep it up. Both guys keep it up. has got to understand what got the knockdown and try to recreate that moment and not try to just bully the guy because he didn't do it in a bully fashion. Oh! Right there, right over there, over there. Well, the chopping right hand's pretty good. Five. Second knockdown six. of the first round. That six. one hurt Brantley. Eight. Me. He looks like he's a little rocky on, right now. He better. Overhand right. Now he's got to write that down in his book. Let go, let go. And you should know that there is no three knockdown rule here, but if he goes down that heavily again, it's a question of whether he'll survive it. 
Brentman's got to keep his hands up because that's how it's coming from on top. Barbosa loading shots and firing wild wingers from the outside, but the one that landed you want to fight? dropped Brantley like a sack of bricks. They ever put bricks in a sack? Maybe yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, these are oh! oh, almost stand broke stand his leg. Yeah, I, I stand would stop it here. Stand and stand well, the referee, the referee invoked down. the three stand knockdown down. rule. Relax, you're not these. What did he ever? And Barbosa with a little move. extra taunting flourish. Yeah, just sit down, buddy. Well, you said it was a good moment for him to look spectacular. Bill filled. Relax, Brian. Let him Two winging right hand shots and I gotta be honest, I didn't even see the punch that created the first knockdown. Was that a right hand too? Yeah, the same deal. So every knockdown was the same thing, huh? Well, he came on top, found his range. Get some more he was here, go get him. Could do it again. All right, here's the first one. Yep. Right on the ear. Yeah, that one was right on the ear. Sort of discombobulated. Brantley at the start of the fight. Here's the second knockdown. That's on top of the head. Maybe he shouldn't have. Uh, maybe he shouldn't have dyed his hair yellow with such a an easy target to aim out. These are wood chopping shots, George. Ooh. And that one was on the eye, alongside the eye. So one along the ear, one on the top of the head, one on the eye and the jaw. A wood chopping motion. See you okay. around. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes by way of spectacular knockout. Two minutes, 43 seconds of the very first round. The winner, and still in NBO middleweight champion, Brian the Bull Barbosa. Let's hear it for a very game, Maurice Brantley as well.